In this video, we are going to learn about composition of transformations. Now remember that transformations, there's three primary rigid transformations, which are transformations that maintain size and shape. And those are translations, which are like slides, rotations, which are turns, and reflections, which are flips. So a composition of transformations is when you do more than one transformation at once. So you do a reflection and then you do a rotation, or you do a translation and then you do a reflection, or something like that. So we're going to talk about three different composition of transformations that are typical. So the first has a special name called a glide reflection. And a glide reflection is a composition of a reflection and a translation. And it could be in either order. So you reflect and then you translate. Or you translate and then you reflect. So for example, if we start out with this triangle, and then reflect it across the dotted line in order to create an image, but then translate that red triangle going from the original black triangle to the second red triangle would be a glide reflection. So if ABC was the original and A prime, B prime, C prime was the result, then from here to here is called a glide reflection. Another common composition of transformations is when you do two reflections over parallel lines. So if we start out with triangle ABC and we want to do two reflections across each of the lines, let's see what will happen. So first, we'll take ABC and reflect it across this triangle right here, or sorry, this line. And this would be our result. And now let's reflect again across the second line. In order to get our image, A prime, B prime, and C prime. And you should notice something. What is, or what transformation is the same as going directly from a b c to a prime b prime c prime without having to do two reflections and you should notice it's just a translation and that will always be the case that two reflections over parallel lines is the same as a translation so we could have accomplished the same result by just doing a translation the last thing we're going to think about is what if we did two reflections like this, but they were over intersecting lines as opposed to parallel lines. So here we're starting out with a rectangle and we are going to reflect it across two lines in order. So first we'll reflect across the diagonal line and we end up with this little rectangle over here. Now we're going to reflect across the horizontal line and our result is this rectangle here. And again we want to think about what one transformation could we have done to go from the original rectangle to this rectangle here. And in this case the answer is a rotation. And it's a rotation centered at the point where the two lines intersected and the rotation is, in this case, 90 degrees, but in general, if this is x degrees, it's going to be a rotation of 2x degrees about the intersection of the two lines of reflection. So those are the three most common composition of transformations, although you could compose any two transformations however you want, or even more than two, to get new results.